you were at Lake Rant, where I rant about whatever my $15 a month plus patrons want me to rant about. You can get one of these by being one of those. This one's for JNES, who says, rant about your thoughts on the comic book legends, uh, comic book greats, starring Stan Lee, Todd McFarlane, and Rob Liefeld. So I've seen most of the clips from this, all the, like, the zingers and stuff uh, before. And if you look at it just from that perspective, it really does look like Stan Lee is just beating up on these guys. Because, I mean, uh, Rob Liefeld, Liefeld is sort of infamous for, uh, you know, making the super edgy, over like, gigantic dudes with tons of belts and spikes and chains and all that kind of shit that was popular in comic books in the 90s. The edgy, ridiculous aesthetic. And, of course, Todd McFarlane, being the creator of Spawn, also edgy kind of uh, creator. So the two of them are made to collaborate on creating an original character uh, in their style using the name Overkill. And the whole time that they're doing it, Stan Lee is cracking all these jokes about it. But, like, to me, it seems like watching the clip in context, like, they are deliberately taking the piss out of themselves. Like, I don't think it was... I don't think this was, like, a setup. I don't think they didn't know. Like, I think it was supposed to be funny. Maybe it comes off a little bit awkward. Uh, but, like, the idea of it is that they're supposed to be doing this in, like, a very short time span. Of course the design is going to be ridiculous. Of course it's going to be as simple as possible, as easy as possible. They're just going to go and Now, granted, I haven't seen other episodes of this, of this show. I don't know if other comic book artists do a much better job. I don't know if some of them are, like, really going to blow your mind with what they come up with. But, like, you get two guys and tell them you have 30 minutes to design a character named Overkill, uh, it's obvious what's going to happen. And, like, you know, frankly, for given the amount of time they had, they have some interesting ideas, you know? I, I like when... McFarlane, like, designs the logo and then talks about how, like, he would add digital effects onto the O if they, you know, had the time and resources. And, like, I don't think it's, like, a, a completely shit thing that they generated in this short span of time, you know? And, like, Stan Lee ribbing on them, uh, I'm sure it was deeply cathartic for people who feel the ways that he's saying. And I'm sure these guys know about the way that they are thought of by their critics, you know? I don't think Stan Lee was the first person to say these things about them. If anything, it, it, it seemed more to me like this was an attempt to humanize these people and, you know, show that it's this is all in fun and that it's, you know, they can make fun of themselves. But maybe just the fact that they are so concentrated on the work while Stan is just kind of digging into them makes it feel more like he's just bullying them. Um, but, you know, I mean, it, as funny as it is, the things that he's saying and the criticisms he's levying at them, like, I, if he really was intending to do this just to shit on them, that it would be really cruel. Like, this is not a nice way to... Uh, you know, to, like, tell an artist to just, like, do something really fast and give them, like, a super small time limit and then shit on the work that they produce. It's like, well, of course it's going to look like shit. It's fucking, I have to do this in 30 minutes and the name you gave me is a joke. But I think they were in on it and I think people, you know, have maybe blown out of proportion just how, like, brutal Stanley really was in this clip. But, you know, that's just how it seemed to me.